thank you, James, um, for admiring my shirt. If, if you want some, uh, let me know. You can just leave a comment on whether WhatsApp or Facebook or um, uh, YouTube. So I will, I will order some for you. Um, it's from Ghana, made in Ghana. Thank you. And uh, I will answer your question now. You said why most Africans don't want to live in Africa and prefer to go to the Western countries. And these are some of the questions that um, it's not only James that have asked me. A lot of people, even my my friends in Australia here, have been asking me the same questions that why we Africans choose to leave Africa. Um, one, this transition, it's a transition. Uh, it's been there before we were born, so I wouldn't have much clue about the transition from here and there, but I, I know about why most Africans choose to move to the Western countries or the developed countries. One, in Africa, you don't have light. When you have money, you can buy light. Um, electricity, that's what I mean. Uh, Security-wise, it's poor. The security system is really poor. Um, the health service is a bit poor. Uh, the education sector is also the same form and a few couple of things. Some are good in terms of the food, uh, Ghana jollof, <laughs> yeah. But uh, apart from that, the, the, those, these are some of the things that people wish to leave the country because it's no good. It, and um, corruption is one of the effective part of those things it's get involved with those things yeah so james uh that is the answer but one thing you need to know is that we have hope that the western countries will allow us to live in their country so we we, we don't care whether we destroy our nation or not so we will move to those western countries african leader um get a position first thing is he need to move his family to the western countries um if you buy my book um the school life i have it in there. um african leaders will get money they will take the money to swiss bank or dubai recently uh, and when they want on holidays they will go to bahamas or they will go to brazil or Dubai, or when they are sick, they will go to either Germany or India. Um, when they want, they want to buy a house, they will go to UK, and uh, investment, they will go to America and Dubai. But when they die, they want to be buried in Africa. So the question is, do we Africans think Africa is a cemetery? <laughs> that is the question we need to ask ourselves. Is Africa a cemetery or Africa is a place that we can do it and to enjoy it for ourselves? Uh, you asked me why I'm in Australia. I'm in Australia because um, I did not have a choice when I was moving in here. So for now that I have a say, I could choose to come back home. But as I said, security, health, education, um, and other few things that I mentioned earlier on need to be really addressed because recently, recently, um, they just shot a, a military personnel and it, it just a surprise that things like that just happen. And the youth are not getting a job, so they, they think uh, they can get their way around how they will eat and all those stuff. And violence in Africa has come down. It's one of the good things. And people are more educated in Africa as well. That's one thing. And we thank God that we are here and we're learning much and we will bring it back home. 
I was in Liberia. I had money, but I couldn't have a vehicle to get me around. Even taxi was like, you know, was pretty difficult to get a taxi in Liberia. But Liberians are beautiful people. I love them. Like, they are beautiful. Thank God I went there to see it myself. Liberians are really good. Thank you, guys. And um, I hope to be there as soon as your motivational godfather and we continue our motivation because Africa needs to unite, as Kwame Nkrumah said, and um, as Bob Mali also said, we need to unite and make our place a place to live. We need to make Africa a place to live. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, just leave it uh, at the comment box or inbox me. Or if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one chat, you can just leave your uh, email address so I will get in touch with you. I got an organization called Generation for You Transformation GYT and uh, this is some of the things that we do. We motivate young people and we want the best for the young people because they are the future leaders. The young people that you see today and you don't respect them, they will come and be your leaders. So please let's uh, let's take advantage and support the young people support anyone who is doing something for the young people of